What's up everyone, it's Jose with Cast King and I'm here with James Elam, Major League Fishing Pro, Bass Pro Tour, and you know, he's getting ready for the Red Crest. Red Crest is gonna be this year at Lake Norman in North Carolina. So everything that I've heard about Lake Norman is that it is a very tough fishery. So you definitely have to, you know, you can't just uh, drive around and, and putt around. I mean, you gotta be efficient with your time. You gotta figure out what, what's going on, try to figure out a pattern. What is your plan? You gotta catch the big ones, and that's the plan to try to go do that. So Lake Norman is filled with spotted bass, and as we all know, when a lake gets a ton of spotted bass in it, a lot of them can be really small, and there can be just too many of them. Mm -hmm. So it's all about weeding through, you know, all those smaller fish to try to get a couple key big bites. And Lake Norman does have some largemouth in it, and I'm gonna target those pretty hard most of the day. And if I don't have five by the end of the day. I'm gonna fall back and try to catch some spotted bass. So my main two, fo two focuses for that tournament will be throwing just a small medium diver and trying to catch a large mouth maybe in the more stained water sections of the lake. Uh, you can also, you know, fill in your limit as you go along catching some spotted bass doing that. In the meantime, this is the seven foot crankbait rod. This is Speed Demon Pro. This is a six, six to one uh, Bassinator Elite. Uh, just a perfect combo for, for this setup. Uh, I can even throw a square bill on this if I want to, if that's what they rather have. So uh, that's one thing that's going to be in my hand a lot, uh, especially, you know, all throughout the day, really, and it can get better as the day goes on. The one thing Lake Norman is known for is its docks, and uh, these fish really key in the docks there. And uh, you'll be doing a lot of jig fishing, a lot of skipping around those docks, and a jig will get you generally a better bite, bigger bite. So I'll fish probably like a medium sized jig. I'll pair it up with the Royal Select seven foot uh, heavy action rod. And this is another Bassinator Elite, but in the eight, uh, eight, eight to one gear ratio. And that's something that's really important with your dragon baits and, and anything slow, you can take up that line really quick or you, you know when a fish bites it or you can just get it back in there and make another cast as quick as you can. So that's gonna be two really key setups for me on Lake Norman. And uh, you know, you never know where the tournament's gonna go or how it's gonna fall, but I bet these are two key players for me and for a lot of guys out there. Awesome, so you being from Oklahoma, you're used to obviously fishing more state water. Yep. Do you think that's gonna be one of your strong points as you gear towards that and you move towards those state waters? I can do both. Uh, I, I'm just uh, strategically targeting places where I think, you know, a bigger population of largemouth bass will live. And it seems like at Lake Norman, that's the, the areas that they're gonna be in. Uh, and I'm fairly comfortable fishing that stained water and stuff like that. So uh, we can go down and fish the clear water if we have to, but I, I would bet, you know, with the time of year and uh, hopefully we'll get a warming trend and it's a, it's a good time of year for those fish to be moving up. That it's gonna all collide to make the perfect storm for that to happen and to catch those largemouth you know, a couple key fish during the day and that more stained water stuff. So in a situation like that, do you think it's definitely ideal to key in on water conditions and water temperature for your plan of attack? Yeah, and you know, one big thing is if we get a warming trend or not. Um, but, you know, Lake Norman is uh, a hot water lake. It's, it's got a couple uh, coal fire plants on it from what I understand. And, uh, you know, the water temperature might not be a huge deal like if it's you know, it might not, it, but it is their time of the year that they want to move up and they want to try to spawn. So that's going to be in my mind. And, uh, you know, but I am definitely going to seek out more stained water color for the most part. Awesome. Thanks. Well, there it is. James Elam. And that's what he's going to be doing for the Red Crest in 2023. Thanks.